Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's Rod D with Orange Ninja News. Yeah, today I'm going to do um, a two part show. So, a uh, short story about that is I had did a, another one earlier, messed up on the editing. And I mean, it was a great show. I tried to do like a long one. But whenever you do like a two or three hour show, I found out the hard way, man. Uh, it's hard to do something like that because if you mess up with the editing, anything go wrong. Now you don't waste your time. Two or three hours worth of time. I ain't going to get into all the technical stuff right now because I'm going to tell you about today's show that I'm going to have. We're going to talk about blue face. We're going to talk about uh, steering wheel covers. Um, let's see. Uh about tobacco, uh, the shootings in California, New York, and Wisconsin that happened over the weekend, uh, and about uh, what went down in Sudan, Africa. Um, we got uh, the, some CRISPR gene technology breakthrough that we're going to talk about as far as the technical stuff, and also, also on the technical level, we talk about uh, CDs and. I know that's old school tech, we're going to get into that. The uh, Capital One has been had, and we'll talk about that. And we're also going to talk about the team killers that's still on the loose over there in Canada. So it's like a lot of stuff to get in. So that's why it's going to be like a two part series for today. I want to do how I did, uh, did earlier. And, uh, do a long, like I say, two or three hour one, and end up messing up doing the editing process, and then now I don't waste it all that time. You know, wasted two or three hours worth of time because I might not be doing my editing the best way it is to do editing. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, uh, it's a learning process. I'm still on my little learning curve, and that was just uh, one of the little hard lessons I had to learn the hard way about trying to do a long show like that and you know as far as with my editing skills how they are right now so until I get it to that level where I could progress and do a show and have it that long then we'll get it to that part right now I'm, I'm good at it with around doing shows that's around like anywhere from uh, half an hour and probably up to an hour at the most before I have to, you know, uh, that's about as far as I feel comfortable with them right now, knowing that uh, even if anything goes wrong, I only lost an hour of my day. I ain't lose like two or three hours of my day, you feel me? So, yeah, that's for sure, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a busy dude, man. Me and both Muhammad, both busy dudes. We always still got the day job, still be at it, so, man. Ain't got time to be uh, spending a lot of extra time like that. And, uh, yeah, so I think the, the first thing I'm going to go into is Blueface. Because as far as talking about hard working and a hard working place, uh, a person, uh, people be saying that Blueface can't rap and this and that. And Blueface can't stay on beat and whatnot. But, yo, that should, uh, well, you know, if you feel that way, then that should motivate you. If you uh, uh, want to be a rapper or whatever in life and you feel like you can rap better than Blueface, then, shit, that should be your motivation right now. Because you see the man can't keep up with the beat, but he don't let that keep him from slanging his music. And he don't keep that from letting him from, uh, let that keep him from doing shows, steady working. He's always bouncing radio station to radio station, doing interviews, promoting his projects, promoting his music. I mean, this dude is a hard worker at the end of the day. So, you know, uh, do I think he's lyrically next to Nas or Jay-Z or somebody like that? Uh, nah, I mean, you know, lyrically wise, but he's, you know, he's still a, a, a young cat. He's still developing his style, and... Who knows in the future, man, where his uh, where his uh, rap skill level will be, and he might surprise you, and he might catch up with the beat one day, man. 
because you know, I never heard him quite on beat with it ever on one of his songs. But like again, like I say, that doesn't mean nothing. That don't mean that he won't catch up to the beat. But for right now, let's start right now today. You know, his his music is selling. He's making mad paper. Um, he's with who? Who he's with? He's got uh the games manager. Uh, what is it? Black One Hundred over him. Uh, so I mean, you know the and, uh, the games whole outfit. That's a that's that's real real big company right there. So I mean, dudes getting paper. So I don't even see what the what the hate is about, man. I don't hate. I congratulate if the cat is great. You know what I'm saying? I ain't a hater of who's greater. I mean, dudes like he's putting it down, man. So I, I big up Blueface. I'm like, yo, I ain't, I ain't about to hate. I'ma congratulate, like yo, that that dude. You can say whatever you want to say about him, but you can't say the dude ain't out here getting it. That dude, that's one hard-working dude right there, man. Yo, so I mean, uh, I might not particularly like all his music. There's a few songs of his that I do like. Like that one, uh, that one that, uh, I don't know her mama, but she called me daddy. I don't, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. But the song is riding, people like it, so I'm like, yo, yeah, whatever the hell that supposed to mean, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I don't know her mama, but she still called me daddy. What the hell? Like, no, nah, whatever, man. But, yeah, but well, Blueface getting it, man. That dude, man, you know, he's steady working. That's how you got to be, man. You got to be on point, man. That's what I'm saying. That's where I'm steady at. That's like, that's like my motivation right there, man. That's motivational. That's why I'm going to stay on my day job getting it. And I'm going to still stay on my night job doing my YouTube channel getting it, man. That's motivation. Hard work, bro. Yo, next I'm going to talk about steering wheel covers. Because, man, I had to replace my damn steering wheel cover. It was nice, man, with the wood grain and everything on it. I mean, it looks, it looks real pretty and everything. But the damn... The damn uh, the stitching on it, it had it had a leather on it, but then it had the rubber on the inside, the leather on the outside, and then where the wood grain is, that junk was plastic. And anybody know about plastic? Plastic don't have a long shelf life, man. Plastic started degrading after a while, so I mean I had some other steering covers steering wheel covers in the past that lasted a long ass time but this one here I was disappointed about it so I was just saying anybody that's getting a getting a plastic type of steering wheel cover man don't don't look for that junk to last too long man matter of fact you should save your money get get a decent steering wheel cover that's uh all leather or or even a cloth one those cloth ones be real sturdy too and last a long time, man. But that's that's the two I would suggest. I would suggest either the the all leather one or going with uh a all cloth one. Cause like I said, that's the two that haven't let me down so far. But I saw that one with the wood grain, man, it was just it was just banging, man. Who don't like wood grain on the steering wheel, man? A wood grain steering wheel looks nice as hell, man. I was like, yo, that's baller right there. I got to get that. Yeah, I just didn't know that the junk had plastic on that junk. I was like, no, no. I thought it would last way the hell longer than it, than it did last. It's not like, um, like, like it hurt my pockets that bad because it's only like, what, probably was like 20 something bucks at the most. But at the same time, it's the, whole time consumption also like you know you got to sit there grab a screwdriver or something like that or a wrench and you're trying to pull this tight steering wheel cover off like you know i ain't really got that type of time going out the store get another one and all this crap man it's just the time consumption when you're a busy man like myself you know what i'm saying and there's a lot of other cats out there you got stuff to do you working you're trying to get it you ain't got, you got the time to just be playing off like that 
So that that would be my advice on the steering wheel cover. Make sure you don't get a plastic one, man, the one that got any kind of plastic on it. Because the leather part of it held up just fine. The leather still good to go. It's just the plastic part that uh, started breaking up, and then all the stitching, of course, started coming off of it. A little couple of wires on the inside start coming out where they can scratch your hand up while you're trying to drive. Yeah, I was uh, just disappointed with that plastic shit, man. So it's all it's all leather cover from now on for me whenever I get the steering wheel cover. Okay, and yeah, so now I want to talk about uh, some of the technical stuff as far as uh, the show I did earlier. Like, I was... Uh, it's when they had, I had just heard about the uh, the shootings on that uh, over the weekend because it happened Sunday, the, the one in uh, the one in California, and they had just uh, it had just came out. We just started talking about it, and I was like, boom! I gotta hurry and do an emergency show on this. So I went in and I kind of got long with it and went long with it. And, you know, like I say, I got up to like two or three hours with it. And then I had some another part to the show where we were talking about some other stuff, me and Muhammad. And, you know, so, the, so it ended up, I guess, being about two or three hours, like I say, all together. And then I uh, went to doing the editing. And I guess because it was uh, so long and so much to it that doing the editing process, I had noticed I started having problems with it. It started messing up. Then I was like, man, I'm going to lose the whole damn thing. And I, man, I sat there forever trying to get it right. And it didn't work out. So, hey, I ended up, that one ended up getting deleted. And that's why today, like I say, this one's going to be a, a two-part series. I ain't about to let that happen again. And, uh, yeah, because... You know, it's like I say, it's a lot to talk about today. It's a lot that uh, that went down, and I got a lot of specifics on, like, say, the three different shootings that went down. Because it wasn't just New York. It was New York, Wisconsin, uh, also California. And it was all, all those was at um, uh, crowded places, still doing venues, which uh, unfortunately seemed like it's a new trend that's going on. I want to get deep into that and talk about that later on in the show. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, put another part to this in a minute. Yeah, I got to sign out right now. I got to do something with the truck. All right, see you in a minute.